generally, the arbitration proceeding will involve submissions by the parties. They generally sequential claimant respondent, claimant respondent. This is followed by a hearing. A hearing, you know, this is the phase where the parties will come together, they will present their case, the witnesses and experts will be cross examined. And after that, the tribunal will issue an award. Remember, you need at least two out of the three to agree to have a binding award. Process design is important in any mediation, but it is vital in a virtual mediation. One very important point to discuss with the parties at the outset is how long each mediation segment should be. Face-to-face -face mediations often last from morning until night, but that is not realistic in front of a screen. It's true that mediations build up momentum as they go along, and that might be lost if broken up into segments. But you also want the parties engaged and not distracted by other matters at home. Breaking the mediation up into three to four hour daily sessions will ensure that participants are alert and engaged. It also allows parties to reflect on what has gone on, which often helps bring about movement. So the purpose of me sharing this story is really just to highlight that the question, what is mediation, sounds simple. But the answer is nothing but simple. And I don't know that there really is a clear cut answer. And part of what I want to share with you in this introduction is the, the diversity of practices and approaches that fall under the umbrella of mediation. At the same time, Mediation does have some core values, uh, and uh, there are some patterns in the type of, of, of objectives that mediation processes seem uh, tend to want to achieve, and we'll look at these as well.